All right, guys, so we're going to create some more routes here to get um, get all profiles, also get a profile by the user ID. Now, before we do that, I want to address this deprecation warning. Now, notice it says find and modify is deprecated. Use find one and update. However, we did use find one and update if you look right here. Um, so this is something that uh, Mongoose has to fix. And if you look at the documentation right here, Uh, this tells us how to fix it and you can see it gives us the other fixes we've already done like the use new URL parser use create index now we want to add use find and modify and set that to false so let's go ahead and do that let's go into our dbjs and our config and let's add use find and modify and set that to false and you might not have to do this if you have an updated version of mongoose in the future Uh, but just doing that, that should stop that that error from happening. All right, so let's move on and create a route to get all profiles. So I'm going to copy the signature here and or the heading header, whatever you want to call that and paste that in. And this is going to be a get request to API slash profile. And this is going to get all profiles. And it's going to be public. Okay, so let's do router dot get and it's going to be slash no auth middleware or anything like that. So we just want our function request response. Okay, um, and then in here we're actually we need to label this a sync. A sync a sync. I say it differently every time. So let's do a try catch. Actually, I think I have a we have shortcuts for try catch with the react extension. Let's do try enter. What was it? Or is it just try catch? There we go. Actually, I like that to be ERR though. Um, and then here let's do console error. Error dot message. And let's do a res dot status 500. Okay, so in this try, we're going to create a variable called profiles and we're going to get those by saying await using our profile model. We're going to use the find method now. Uh, I also want to add the, the the name and the avatar, which are part of the user model. So we're going to add on to this populate like we did before. And we want to populate from the user collection. And we want an array of fields that we want to add, which are going to be the name and the avatar. Okay, so we'll do that and then we just want to do a res dot Jason and we're going to send along those profiles that we get. And that's it. So pretty simple route. Let's go ahead and go into Postman. Um, now, I never saved this. This is the create and update route. So I'm going to make sure I go ahead and save this as create and update profile. Now, I want to save this. Um, in the profiles collection. In fact, this one here, get logged in users profile. That should be in the. In the um, profiles collection as well, so we'll save that. Actually. Hold on, let's edit this. Get logged in profile. And then we'll delete this one. Okay, just to kind of organize things, we can delete that. All right. Get rid of that. So now we want to try and get all the profiles. So let's create a new tab and let's make a get request to this right here. API slash profile and send. Okay, so notice that this is an array, it has brackets, and then the first item in the array is the object 
with the profile data and notice it also includes the user object with the name and the avatar because we specified that. All right, that way in our UI we can have a list of the profiles and we can have the avatar and the name. Now what I'd like to do is create a profile for John Doe. So let's go to login user and use John Doe's uh, information here and get a token. And then we'll go back to the create and update profile. However, we want to change the token to John Doe's. So we'll put that in there. And for the body, um, we want to change up some of this stuff. So let's say he works for, I don't know, TechSoft Inc. And he is a junior developer. Website will say TechSoft. And I don't want to fill all this up. Let's say HTML, CSS, JS. We'll take away the location, the bio, the GitHub username, and the social links there. All right, so we should be able to create this because the status and skills are there. Those are the only required fields. So let's click send. And now we have a profile for John Doe. Okay, we don't have as much as many fields as the the other one because we didn't add as many, but what we did add is there and you can see we still have our experience and education. So if we go back to the tab where we're getting all the profiles and I send again, we should get both. So there's Brad's and then comma and then John's. All right, so that's exactly what should be going on. So let's save this. And we'll say get all profiles and save. All right, cool. Now we also want to be able to get profiles by the user ID. Okay, the user ID, not the profile ID. Remember, they all they have the profile ID and then they have the user ID. So let's go back into our profile routes here. And I'm just going to I'm going to copy this whole thing, actually. And let's change this to get um, get API slash profile slash user slash and then user underscore ID. Actually, let's put a colon here because this is a placeholder. And let's say get profile by I, uh, user ID. Okay, and this is going to be public as well. And then the route. is going to be this. So we want to just add slash user slash colon user underscore ID. All right. Now, as far as the query, let's just take the S off because we're getting one profile. And instead of find, let's use find one and let's pass in here. We want to find it by the user and the ID is going to come from the URL. Okay, it's going to come from this right here so we can access that with request. dot params dot user underscore ID. All right. And then we want to populate the user in the name and avatar just like we did here. Um, now we want to check to make sure there's a profile for the user. So let's do uh, if there's no profile, then let's return res dot status 400. And we'll send some JSON and we'll send a message and say there is no profile for this user. All right. Other other than that, then we're going to go ahead and send the uh, profile. All right. So let's go ahead and save that. Now, if I go back to uh, Postman, And I get a user ID. Let's get the Brad users ID, which is this right here. And we open a new tab and we make a get request to uh, local host 5000 slash API slash profile slash user slash and then that ID and I send we get Brad's profile. Now we're going to have an issue here if So if I just replace the last digit here with a with a seven instead of an eight and I send we get there's no pro profile for this user, which is fine. But this this is a valid object ID, right? 
if it's not a valid object ID, like if I add some more characters and I send, we're going to get a server error. Okay, and what's happening is the catch is running. So this is running right here because what we're passing in is not a valid object ID. Now, instead of saying server error, I, I still wanted to say there is no profile for this user. So what we can do is we'll still console log that message, right? But let's put a let's put an if statement right here because we want to check for a certain type of message. We can take that error object and there is a, a property called kind. And if it's equal to object ID, okay, because this is a, a certain kind of error, then let's do this same thing. Okay, so I'll just copy that and paste that in. And we'll say there is instead of there's no profile for this user, let's say profile not. found. In fact, we should probably say that here as well. Um, yeah, let's do that. I'll say profile not found. All right. So that way, even if for some reason um, they try to find, you know, let's say user slash one, one is not an object ID, we'll still get profile not found instead of server error. So hopefully that makes sense. Now I'm just going to save this request. I'll say get profile by user ID. All right. Now, when we make this request, if if this is not a, an, a valid object ID, we're going to get these this error down here. That's why that's showing. All right. Just to let you know. All right. So we're going to stop here. And in the next video, I want to be able to delete a profile, but I also want it to delete the user. Okay, I want to have one route that will delete the profile, the user, and then later on when we have posts, it should delete any posts that belong to that user. All right, so we'll do that in the next one in the next video.